Yo, what's good, y'all? This is Josh, and I got something real special for y'all. Throughout the semester, y'all heard me cover football, y'all heard me cover soccer, y'all heard everybody else cover volleyball, but now it's time for the one sport I've really been waiting for. We got hoops. Hey, and one of the most exciting things about this Akron team is they have a lot of returning players from last year's MAC championship team. We still got Greg Tribble, we still got Xavier Castaneda, and of course we got Enrique Freeman. There really ain't much more to say, let's get to it. One thing I noticed about this South Dakota State team, they not too big, they not too physical. So you know what that means? Enrique Freeman does what he does best. He was playing bully ball, posting up, getting buckets, nobody could stop him. Like if he got the ball down low, just add two to the scoreboard because Enrique was doing literally what he wanted and he made it look easy too. Akron also got a lot of buckets in transition this game and look at Nate Johnson as he gets the steal, takes it coast to coast and booms on the other end of the court. I love it. You want to know what I loved even more though? Xavier Castaneda's performance. The man was hooping. He had 31 points. 24 of those were threes. Yeah, that's right. He hit eight threes. He had seven assists and he had two steals. He was getting it done on both sides of the ball and he's a big part of why the Zips got this dub. Like there ain't no player of the game, but let's be real. If there was a player of the game, you know who it is. Hey, and I know I'm making everything sound good, but let me just say this game got a little scary cause South Dakota started hooping in the second half. They came all the way back, made it a real close game. Like, I don't know what their coach said to them in the locker room, but I promise you that first half team and the second half team were not the same players. Hey, and I can't talk about this game without talking about Greg Tribble. Now, before I talk about his performance in this one, let me just say this dude is a bucket, easily one of the best players on the team. But he had an off night, you feel me? He shot two for 11, had five points, one assist, like that's not him at all. And then at the end of regulation, a Hooper's worst nightmare happened to him. It's a tie game. He gets the steal. He's on a fast break by himself and he smokes the layup that would have got the Zips to win. But the reason I say shout out to him is the way he bounced back. At the end of OT, he gets a huge rebound, gets sent to the line, and then he ended up sinking the game winning free throw. And Akron takes the win 80 to 81. This was Josh with the ZTV Sports Report. Peace.